What's up guys, my name's Vortzi. This is just going to be a really quick and beginner's tutorial on how to clean up some of your audio. Uh, we're going to be using a program called Audacity. It's free, it's really easy to use, and you can use this information whether you want to do some podcasting, or if you want to be making some stuff for a YouTube video, anything like that. This is just going to help you clean out your audio if you've got a less than awesome microphone, or if you just want to make your stuff sound a little bit more professional. So, as I said, we're going to be using Audacity. Audacity is a free program. I'll put a link to it in the description down below, or you can just Google it. It's really simple to use, so let's jump in. So, once you have Audacity, you may or may not have all this show up when you open it up. That's there simply because I've got heaps of plugins installed. So, that may appear, that may not. Don't worry about it if it doesn't. The most important thing is that you have this window here. This window here is going to be showing you, well everything that you need to know. So, really simple, top left hand corner, we've got this red button here. Once you push that, it'll start recording, and then you can hear what you're saying. It'll give you a little waveform of everything, and if we press stop, we can then press play and listen back to what I said. It'll start recording, and then you can hear what you're saying. It'll give you a little waveform of everything. Yep, so that's pretty simple. Press the little X to get rid of it, and you're done. So, the way in which we clean up audio is really simple, really fast, and it'll just add a lot more professionalism to any sort of video or podcast or anything that you want to do. So, first thing you need to do is just record something. So let's just say, uh, I don't know, I'll just make something up. Hello everyone, this is Vortzi, and I'm just giving an introductory tutorial on how to clean up audio within Audacity. It's not going to be very hard, but it's just going to add a little bit of extra professionalism to everything that we do. So, pretty simple. One thing that I would recommend is that you leave some sort of white noise at the end of every recording, or every single time you make a track, just leave a little bit of white noise, which is this. White noise is basically the ambient sound that's within your room, and it's just going to help you be able to do something that I'm going to show you called noise removal. Now, don't worry if you don't get it in here, you can simply just click anywhere along the track and it'll make a new one when you press record again, and then just don't say anything. So let's just say if I'd cut it off without enough time to get a noise profile, if I just delete that, and I wanted some noise, I'd just press record again and not say anything. All right, so all of this stuff here, this is now my white noise here, and that's basically what I'm going to be using to get a noise profile. Now, noise profile is just going to be able to select what the noise is within this audio recording. So every time that I've stopped speaking, let's say like here, there's going to be a little bit of ambient sound because my microphone is picking up sound from the room around me and I'm not sitting in a quiet box or a whisper room or anything like that. I haven't got the acoustics of my, of my recording area set up all that well. It'll pick up the fan from your computer if you're using a crowded, um, a good sensitive microphone, or it'll just pick up a whole bunch of stuff, and we don't want that. So, the simplest thing to do, you can either click and, actually, just click and highlight the noise, uh, the empty area of your waveform, and then go to Effect and Noise Removal. So, once you've gone Effect Noise Removal, make sure that this is on Noise Remove, this little checkbox here, click get noise profile, and you've done that. Now you've got a profile of what the noise is. So this will make it so that Audacity knows what noise is within your waveform. So go back to your waveform, click on the left-hand side, and it will, oops, don't do that. Click on the left-hand side, and you will select the whole track. Go to effect, noise removal, oops, that's leveler, effect, noise removal, and then click OK, and it will remove the noise. Now, the next thing we want to do is chuck it through a compressor. So, go through your compressor. This will make it so that everything that you say here, like, uh, you can see all these different peaks. This is loud, and like, this bit here is quiet. We don't necessarily want to have that because we want a nice even audio. It is useful to have quiet bits and loud bits, but for podcasting and for YouTube videos, it's usually best to have it so that everyone can hear you at an even volume. So, go to Effect and then Compressor. Now, you can follow basically my exact ratios here, or you can make up your own once you've figured out. Play around with Audacity, that's the best thing about it. It's free, it's fun, it's fast, it's, yeah. So, if you want to know everything, if case you're just following along with the audio of this, the threshold is negative five, 
The noise floor is negative 30. The ratio is 4 to 1. The attack time is 0.1 and the decay time is 1.0. So once you've got all that, make sure you're compressed based on peaks. Press OK and it will compress the audio. Now that you've done that, your audio is just going to be a little bit more even across the piece. So if I was to undo and then I was to redo, you can see that everything sort of like fattens back out and everything becomes a little bit easier to hear. Now, that's good. So the next thing you can do is go to Effect and Equalization. Now, this is a custom mix that I've built. So I'm going to run through or basically just screenshot this because that's an easy way to... Um, understand what's going on. So basically this is uh, upping the bass of my voice and it's also giving it a little bit more treble as well while making sure that it doesn't clip. So you can either just copy this straight from my uh, screen, so take a screenshot of this or just make sure you figure out how this works. Or if you want to do it a little bit longer way, what I've done is basically all I've done is I've gone to bass boost and I've run through one time of bass boost and then I've also gone through one thing of, uh, da, 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 where is it? Equalization. I've also gone one thing of treble boost. And then that's basically what that effect that is the custom mix has gone through. So you can either do it that way or you can do it the way that I have in my custom mix. So equalization, in this case, it's custom mix for me. Just make sure your waveform looks like that. It's pretty simple. And then click OK. Now, as you can see, because I've made it so that it doesn't clip, it actually renders down a little bit more, and the audio here is actually quite quiet. So, relatively simple to fix again. Just go back to your compressor, click OK, it's going to fatten it back out, and you've got pretty decent audio. So, if you hear the difference between my voice, which is just being recorded through OBS, and then if I play this waveform, you can hear a little bit of a difference on how my voice sounds. So, here's my voice in OBS, and now I'll play what it is in Audacity. Hello everyone, this is Vortzi and I'm just giving an introductory tutorial on how to clean up audio within Audacity. Okay, so you might still hear a little bit more noise because my microphone isn't muted in OBS, but this is just a really simple and basic tutorial on how to help people just get through really easy ways of just cleaning up audio. So thanks everyone for watching, my name's Vortzi and I'll see you all later.